Hello folks and welcome back to G4G on YouTube. I am Napalm Dawn. We are here today in Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux closed beta 5.9.1 and we are doing episode 8 of Thursday Night Fights. I'm going to go ahead and get the typical disclaimer out of the way and that is that there is no plans for a mobile version for this game. Also, this is closed beta 5.9.1 as I mentioned because it is closed beta that means it is not available to the public and will not be available to the public the most recent version that is available for you to download is linked below that is 5.2 there are also links to our discord and our facebook down below along with the schedule of streaming that i do on twitch which is tuesdays and wednesdays from 3 o'clock Eastern to 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, there have been some rumblings about moving forward with uh, Beta 6. I can't get into too much detail on that, but suffice to say the, the devs have been having some uh, internal discussions recently. So hopefully we will hear some news on that in the future. Just hold on to your patience a little bit longer and uh, we should be getting something out. So, for today's team, for PvP, uh, as usual, these are practice fights. I'm not doing these inside of a tournament because after PvP Season 1, the tournaments have conditionals, be it based on a class or an affiliation like X-Men and Avengers, uh, you know, Fantastic Four, things of that nature. So that's why we're doing these on practice. This team came about based on the fact that I sort of made a mistake in one of the more recent videos that I did where I teamed up Daredevil and She-Hulk. While they do have a personal connection, as highlighted by the She-Hulk series, they actually do not do the same thing. So they didn't really have the most amount of synergy. One of them, She-Hulk likes opportunistic debuffs, whereas Daredevil likes pressure point debuffs. So one is exploit opportunity, the other is a paragon exploiter. And I realized my mistake on that one a little too late. Today we're going to do Team Bunk Bunk, and that is going to be Daredevil and Mockingbird. And we're going to isolate everything to pressure points. So I am starting off with the Coulson's Revenge to potentially add extra attacks, the Enchanted Crowbar, the Omni Fury, and the Shiv over here, uh, the Crystal Shiv. These all deal with uh, pressure point debuffs and Paragon exploitation. They are the ones like Slowed and Dizzy and Weakened and everything, whereas uh, the others exploit opportunity mostly are counter to classes like turning off tactical bonuses like exhausted and turning off scrapper and infiltrator bonuses and bruisers uh with neutralized against enraged and things like that so we're still we're, we're kind of dealing directly with pressure points now there are a few things that could be done with this particular team uh, everything you see here is store based or easy to earn like the enchanted crowbar and the other three are store based but you can do a couple of extra things uh, you can pick up the blade of the guardian and take the colson's revenge out put on the blade of the guardian or anything that makes the agent tank like the knight from an early spec ops and then you may get free pressure point debuffs out there from the enchanted crowbar being used as a counterattack weapon. So you're putting out free debuffs for the other two to go ahead and exploit. It just kind of depends on do you have faith that your agent will act as a tank and that the crowbar will proc enough or do you sort of want to let things uh, you know drop as they may and put out the debuffs and exploit them and potentially gain extra attacks. Uh, also, you could be looking into something like the Momentum Generator um, as or the Momentum Engine. Well, the Momentum Engine is the quick action version of it. 
um, but it increases the damage of unarmed attacks. And that also works for the other members of this, I believe, as... I gotta check to see... Well, it's... No, actually, that won't... Well, some of it. Snap Kick would work because it is considered unarmed. And over on Mockingbird, Pole Vault is considered unarmed, too. So you could farm for the uh, the Momentum Generator and use that. And uh, that also should serve pretty well. I'm going to test out the Steady over here and see if her health goes up. Uh, yes, it did. Okay. So we're looking pretty good over here. We are ready to go. So let's do our Thursday night five fights over here. <laughs> five nights at Mocking or five nights at Bobby. Ooh, uh, I take that back. That sounds like a porn. Um, yeah, let's just stick with Team Bunk Bunk, <laughs> which might also sound like porn too. Okay, so I've seen this team up before. This is a protector agent because of the Horfrost Mace. This is Hulk and uh, Standard Quicksilver. That is a Scrapper, which is uh, negative for me because of my Infiltrator suit over there. Um, I think, let's see, what are we going to open up with? I can do Pressure Points from the Shiv or the Crowbar. The Shiv is coming in at a little bit more damage, so I will do that. And I will go after the Agent because I know the Agent is protecting. Crowbar is probably not going to see that much direct use. It'll probably be there just for the counters. All right, Scrapper Quicksilver recharges, which happens sometimes. That's good for me. Um, again, as much as I want Quicksilver out of there early so that he doesn't go after my agent, we have to go around um, the enemy agent over here. Dizzy is up. I'm going to go ahead and apply Fumbling. Oh, uh, that's a really good snap kick for Daredevil. That is actually big damage. We do take a stun, but it's somebody who has already acted. That's fine by me. And I think Mockingbird is going to go ahead and take the enemy agent out over here. I'll just do the level one. Bobby becomes a tactician, but does not gain the tactical benefit from that attack. So now it is my agent's turn. We're going to walk around Quicksilver for now, and we're going to shiv the Hulk, which sounds like a near impossible task. But we've got some good pressure point debuffs there. Hit with the one mile punch, and then you can see a little bit of a Quicksilver bug there where his follow-up put combo set up on everybody, which it should, but the damage did not go out on everybody. Uh, that is a bug the team is aware of, and that should be fixed in the next version. Hulk has got a lot of debuffs on him. Uh, he can hit potentially extremely hard, so I'm going to use Bobby's Mocking Blow to do my own high damage, and it might come close to taking him out. Oh, uh, good God. That is incredibly unexpected. Yes, she changed to a blaster before that attack, but the thought of Mockingbird nearly one-shotting a Hulk is... Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like it works in this universe. The Coulsons has the most amount of damage, but there's no debuffs there. I think I will use it. He does have weak point. Uh, War Frenzy actually shouldn't apply. Hulk is dead, so attacking him should not have caused that War Frenzy. I'm going to have to make sure that goes on the list. Uh, let's apply Eternal... In, in, eternal. Internal Bleeding and some debuffs, and let's see if Mocking Blow gets rid of Quicksilver. My god. Did I... I really slept on Mockingbird back in the day. I... I know a lot of people defend her as doing high damage and that she was actually really, really good at PvP back in the Play Dom run, but yeah, totally slept on this. I think at this stage of the game, I just really wasn't that good and wasn't designing teams at the time, but this is Team Bunk Bunk is pretty good. 
All right. Um, Bruiser Agent, Bruiser Hercules, Scrapper Quicksilver. This team can be a little bit deadly. I actually do think they have a momentum generator over there. Uh, later on in the game, I would say this team would definitely have the Dragon's Foot or the Steps of Shu Lao. Um, I am going to go for... Ah, they have two bruisers, so that's an issue for Daredevil. I think I'm going to consider Hercules. Well, the agent, I believe, is a quantum jumper. Mm. I'm going to go for Hercules. All right, the agent protected, so I guess we know who we're going for. We're going for the lady, lady bruiser. Hercules takes advantage of the Scrapper, gets an enraged, but Daredevil's still got some pretty good hit points there. Uh, we can exploit that, so let's see how Men Ricky Don't Lose That Number works out. Good, but not as good as Mockingbird. Yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Quantum Jumper. Mockingbird goes Bruiser, so that could be good for her. Um, gaining Enrage stacks. And uh, she jumps the turn order a little bit. She has that passive that sometimes when she is attacked and changed classes, she gets an extra turn. So I'm going to Paragon Exploit the Agent. God, man. Hercules makes Bobby pay for that attack, but uh, it was really, really strong. I'm going to go ahead and try to stun Quicksilver. Let's see how this works out. Okay, we got it. We got the combo set up. We got a stun. Um, my agent really can't take advantage of the combo setup, but thanks to the Omni Fury, he can take advantage of the debuff, so let's give it a try. Yeah, mild. Probably the better way to go would have been the, um, the Coulsons. Hercules is still really going after Daredevil, so I think before Daredevil dies... He's going to have to take care of uh, Quicksilver, but he's not really debuffed that well. So let's get some more debuffs and some internal bleeding. And let's try Bobby again. Man. Well, we finally get a, a Coulson's Revenge jump in over there. Uh, Bobby is the star of this team. Um... She is very quickly uh, putting herself there as the major damage dealer. Another Coulson's Revenge jump in, which is great. More debuffs on him. And she's switching the blaster. And she's gained an extra turn, so she's probably going to kill Hercules. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm fanboying over Mockingbird. I, I've never been converted to somebody's corner like I am now with this. I mean, usually I have a plan and I go with it and I kind of know what I'm doing ahead of time. This team up is winging it a little bit, despite the fact that it's well designed, but I'm just thoroughly impressed with her damage. And she doesn't even have great ISOs and she's putting out this damage. Uh, there it is. There's that momentum generator that I know that this agent has. Kind of mild attack. Yes, perfect. Enchanted crowbar counter. Uh, so we have debuffs for free on the enemy agent. I cannot get around the scrapper versus bruiser over there thanks to the Horfrost mate. So, and they have already taken their turn. So fumbling isn't going to be that great. Let's try the uh, Menrik Asari over here. I brought this up on the stream, but Man Ricky Don't Lose That Number is a old joke from Pot Kettle Black on the Avengers Alliance wiki. Um, it, it refers to a song by Steely Dan called Ricky Don't Lose That Number. Just, She's like the best bowler in the world. We just keep setting Mockingbird up and she just keeps knocking it out of the park. 
I think I want to go for Hercules, and I think I want to do pressure point debuffs to set up for Bobby. Because Bobby will go before Hercules, so uh, let's just set her up for the big hit. And fuck, she can just set herself up for it. That's great. Is she going to get an extra turn? Oh my god, she gets an... Man, uh, the Coulson's Revenge is feeding Mockingbird like crazy. She's going to kill Hercules right now. Jesus Christ, she did 10k in the Season 1 beta. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I Maybe I have found my team for the early tournaments. Maybe this is what I'm going to use. I mean, you have to work to get Mockingbird. You have to go through that first Spec Ops, and people do consider that Spec Ops annoying because you have to five-star your way through it and everything, but uh, this, is, this is nuts. Canyon... Um, one of one of my uh, more common YouTube audience members, uh, Chick Canyon, is gonna love this video. I, I I predict I'm going to see several comments from him on this one. All right, we're we're in the home stretch. We're in the last two fights, and we've got something different. We this team is obnoxious as hell. Doctor Strange's healing is really really good, and Ghost Rider against my agent is bad news. It's even more bad news than Quicksilver. Um, I'm going to go right for Doctor Strange. Unfortunately, I have no stun for him, and Bobby goes after him. So I'm just going to try and set up as much as I possibly can. That's a big hit. And I get the Infiltrator bonus going, so that's that's pretty good. Mm, Cosmic Flame, so Soulfire is going to be coming my way from somebody. Ooh, he has a Coulson's. This, this agent is tough. I'm pretty sure this is the toughest team that I typically face. Um, he's got Dizzy. He's got one debuff. Uh, we may as well try it. I, we can't... Yeah, let's try it. See what the damage that goes out. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not bad, but there's the Terracing boost. Now we're in trouble because they have they have the sustain and they have a you, oh god yeah uh, this might wind up being a loss. However, Doctor Strange has got some debuffs on him, so let's see what Mockingbird does. Oof. Maybe the healing won't be that bad if I can put out the debuffs. It's it is two to two here. Maybe it's just going to be a one-two combo on my agent for the setup and Bobby for the, the put away. Because I think she, Oh, God. God, this agent is stacked. I think she could do it. She's an infiltrator. That's a generalist. Already a bunch of debuffs. I think we can do it. Just keep your fingers crossed. Ooh a hair shy but my agent's gonna go before yeah okay i think i'll do my own exploitation here see what kind of numbers i can put up not bad but they don't compare to mockingbird okay two on one um there is nothing they uh let's go for the stun let's get a lucky stun come on lucky stun good okay now I can set up Bobby, and Bobby will probably get the kill. His hit points will be low enough. We'll have good debuffs. She's probably going to kick his ass. Ooh, so close with that soul fire. Oh. Oh my. I was way wrong on that. Uh, Coulson's. I think Bobby's going to die. 
I'm in... <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Terrazing Boost is still on him, but... Uh, the... Alright, Omni Fury. Oof. Wow. I like when these videos have drama to just put everybody away with one shots is, is all fine and dandy, but um, there needs to be drama in some of these, and hopefully that's my only drama fight. Oh, <laughs> I just I just need to keep my mouth shut. I just absolutely need to keep my mouth shut. Um, internal bleeding and pressure points. Bobby does go before Doctor Strange, so maybe I won't have to deal with the Terrazing boost, but I do have to deal with Ghost. Oh, okay, okay. My agent ain't taking shit on this fight. That's two pressure point counters there. By the way, the Crystal Shiv does have that. It's not in the tooltip, but if you look it up on the wikis, um, there is a hidden... It's not hidden. It's explained on the wikis, but um, the Crystal Shiv does have a counterattack uh, to it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Shiv Doctor Strange for a little bit more of a setup. But yeah, I, I actually have two counter weapons. I keep forgetting about that with the shiv because it's not in the tooltip. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's not great, but that's not too bad. Say goodbye to your healer, Agent Zuri. Zuri, no! Okay. Um... Ghost Rider. He's low. We gotta get Ghost Rider out of there before he kills my team. Um, Man Rikasari. That's a big hit from Daredevil. Oh, and he gets countered. And Bobby's gonna get the extra turn. Eh, we'll put him away lightly. Nice. Okay. Much, much better on this. This round over here, it goes to show you that sometimes it's it is just a matter of RNG. My agent has 31 hit points. Oh no. Oh no. Not do not do the Phoenix Flare. Okay, no Phoenix Flare. I want to stun this agent just in case. Um Does my agent have any debuffs? Yes. Poison to Dark Void. I'm probably gonna lose my agent, so. Maybe Daredevil will get the kill here. Ooh, and he does. Everybody lives. <sighs> okay. That is that is definitely a relief. There's the five fights for Thursday night fights. This is Team Bunk Bunk. And I, I think I may have decided on what my official team up is going to be at some point during Beta 6 when it drops. Uh, these guys are doing a bang up job. The gear is not that hard to get. I mean, three of these are store items. Actually, all yeah, the Enchanted Crowbar. Is the Enchanted Crowbar in the store? Am I confusing it with? Uh, I confuse it with the wrench sometimes. Um, yeah, the wrench is opportunist, but the crowbar is pressure points and it comes from a spec op. So. Uh, yeah, this is this is a, a real real fun team up. It's nice to see these numbers in the early game. I mean, it's it's different when you get into later game stuff and like what Molly Hayes used to do and, and Iron Fist and you know some of the big numbers you get from exploitation. But to see 10k pop in what is essentially uh, practice fights of uh, season two in PvP. That is crazy. The good news is the cable bug uh, is fixed for this particular save. So I'm going to spend time this weekend, unlock cable, and hopefully by next Thursday's PvP fights, we can try to get some cable teams going for the, the PvP video. And uh, we'll see how it is to get cable working in PvP. 
So I will catch you guys tomorrow here on YouTube for the Soothing Premium Mission or ASM AAR, as some people have called it. And then I will see you Tuesday and Wednesday of next week on Twitch when I do the 5.9 streaming and we're probably going to recruit magic on Tuesday and then begin another spec ops, spec ops number four. So I will catch you guys later and have a glorious weekend.